Good afternoon, folks. As we mentioned this morning, the Swarm Magnetic Field Mission is about to have their 10-year anniversary conference, even though the mission has been putting out publications since 2010. Since we have been tracking the decline in Earth's magnetic field strength and have been without really official updates for a while, it's time to get some answers. So for any of you who are going, here is exactly what you need to be looking for and what you need to be asking the experts when you have the opportunity. First, let's look at the official agenda. While everything at this conference is likely to be interesting, there are some key things that are likely to be even more exciting. On Monday, the entire afternoon session is on point. If they do plan to give an update on how far gone the magnetic field is, it's likely going to be in here. So I guess what I'm saying is if you plan to go, don't show up late and miss those best sessions. The other place such an update might come is Wednesday. Those past, present, and future sessions may have a good bit of forward-looking forecasts of the field activity. And then down at the bottom, you see the social dinner. That, the poster sessions, and the events here on Thursday evening are your best chance to get one-on-one -on -one with some of the speakers and swarm team members. Now, here is what you do once you have said you'd like to ask them a question. And it's based on the 2010 swarm document from their own mouths that we were down 15%. That's quite the jump from the 10% down that NASA reported in 1999 and 2000. Then in 2014, the mission manager of SWARM at the time, Rune Flobergagen, said Earth's magnetic field was getting ready to flip. The field was now weakening 10 times faster and had gone from 5% lost per century to 5% lost per decade. Again, the big news broke at the turn of the millennium, 10% down. The ESA team, whose conference you'll be going to, said 15% in 2010, and their mission manager said 10 times faster and that we're now going down 5% per decade. So the question is, where exactly are we now? Now, if they balk or hesitate, there's a very good chance they're going to. Don't you hesitate to mention that the ionospheric excitement is sustaining mid-1900s levels despite lower solar activity, and we broke the auroral records in 2023, both of which suggest more of that solar energy is getting through and we're losing strength in the magnetic field at a significant rate. I know there are at least two of you going. Hopefully there's more. I would watch this video a couple times if you plan to attend the event. I would also take some notes, and last but not least, when you're there, I would not mention my name if I were you. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.